Hello everyone, I have a merch store in support of my channel with designs I created on t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, tank tops, mugs, mouse pads, stickers, and phone cases. Please visit the Jet Ski Pilot Gaming Store at Designed by Humans or my other store at TeePublic. Links in the video description. Hello and welcome to this unboxing and review. Today we're going to do something a little bit different here. I've been in uh, my previous DJ back in the 80s, I guess doing high school and college and in the 90s into techno and rave and all the into the club and scene so i've had a, a decent little vinyl record collection and i've picked up a few uh, vinyls uh, recently and one of the vinyls i did pick up was pretty filthy and this little spin clean here as i'm showing you the box this record washer is a solution based uh, record cleaner and i figured you know let me look do some research into this and see if i can find a good cleaner and clean this this particular vinyl record I have and, and also let me clean the other vinyls in my in my collection of records so as you can see I pull these out it does have some nice drying cloths included and now see we'll pull out the uh, this speci specific uh, washing fluid and it's kind of what's kind of unique about the properties of this washing fluid apparently it it actually captures the dirt that's it's um, from the records it actually pulls it down into the basin so that dirt doesn't recollect onto your record. So it is a special wash and fluid solution, and we'll kind of show you. We'll show you the cleaning process and what I think about it at the near the end of the video. And let's see. It's also as we pull this up, it does have a cover, which is pretty nice. They say they recommend about it'll clean up to 50 records um, before you have to change out the washing solution and the water. But I, um, I don't know. Like I said, I've. There's there's a limitation to it, so as we go, I'll sh kind of explain more as we open this up and try now do some record cleaning, kind of see my give my thoughts and all that good stuff. So let's pull out these little brushes, and this is the the one of the other key things that um, cleaning the records. These brushes, there's two of them. It cleans on both sides of the records, and it really gets into that grime, gets that dirt and grime, and all the other noise that's in could be in your records and grooves that causes all those crackles and pops and noises you may hear in a really dirty record. And there's the rollers. They do have a little rubber um, little thing around the center that actually helps grip and catches the edges of the records. And there is the owner's manual, and it's pretty straightforward. Kind of tells you what to do. And like I said, this will clean up uh, up to 12 inch records, 33 RPM records, and I'll do 10 inch records, the the 78 RPM records, and also it'll also clean the 45 RPM, the smaller 7 inch records. And there is the basin. It's kind of unique about this product. Um, as you can see right there, it is manufactured and hand assembled in the USA since 1975. So this is one of the original record cleaners. There are um, other similar products like this. It does have rubber feet, as you can see, which is nice. I, I, when I was doing some research, I saw some that are black, um, made in China. They have drying racks. And I was looking at those, and I, I saw this one, saw some good good feedback on it. So you know what? I'm kind of glad now looking at it. I didn't get the one with the drying racks and, and the original one here in yellow. And they make it yellow specifically so you can actually see the dirt that's collected at the bottom like i said the solution brings all that dirt in the bottom so you kind of know that okay maybe it's time to to remove and change out the this washing solution so as we do there's a fill line right there you kind of see it right by the brushes and what they recommend is use distilled water so this is distilled water and it takes about one cap uh, full of this cleaning solution and they recommend kind of pouring it right over the brushes like that because like i said that's going to be the the main um, cleaning um, power, I guess, uh, these brushes are going to clean both sides of that record. So you can see the, there is the little level line. And we'll put the rollers, the outside. That's for the 12-inch records. And there's another groove for the 10-inch, uh, 78 RPM records. And then this groove in the inside is the 45 RPM uh, records. So I'll, we'll show at the very end a clean on some of the 45s I do have. So this is the, one of the records I picked up recently that is a, it's a tune that I've loved and and I've had forever um, known and what have you but this is the one that was really really dirty what they recommend is to clean it turn it three times clockwise and then you'll turn it three more times counterclockwise to get the full cleaning of the record and one thing I noticed as you can see my left hand is holding down that bin because that there's some good friction between those two brushes that's gripping the that record to get all that dirt off and you can see the, the record is completely clean did its job I did play it. I'm not going to show you the, the actual, let you hear the music just because of copyright reasons, but trust me, it actually took out all those dirt pops and all that noise I was hearing from that dirty record. So it did really get all that 
dirt and grime that was in those grooves. So very impressed so far with this uh, record washer. Um, I'm done. I'm just going to show you some other samples of, of the records that I've been cleaning. And some are, you know, they're halfway filthy, a little bit dirt. But after doing several of these records, I did about, I think, close to 50. Like I said, they recommend after 50 records, this one solution to, to change it out. But after taking it out, you're doing the full cleaning, and then the water is still on it. It drips. Most of the water gets absorbed in the drying cloth. So the level goes down after a while and gets really filthy. And I'll show you the, near the end of the video, the very end of the video, how dirty that water is after, I think, like 40 or 50 records I did. And it really did a good job taking all that dirt and bringing it down, forcing it to the bottom of the basin. So that solution definitely good works. And then what they recommend is if you're, if you're doing, a, um, like I said, if you do 40, 50 records, you can change out the solution, put some more um, water, you know, what have you, and clean those 50 records or whatever. Um, but like I said, if you're doing a short run of a few records, you can put that lid on it and then come back. They don't. Re they recommend don't no more than a week to have that solution in there before we have to do another run of records. And I guess I'm not exactly sure why, but either way, after doing 50, about 40 or 50 records, and with the solution going down, as I mentioned earlier, most of the water getting into that cloth. I did have to re um, take out the the water, put some new solution, in, and fill it up to that level line because after a while, the the level is your all the water is not going to capture get on to all the grooves where it needs to be cleaned. Um, another thing too is as you can kind of see, as I spin these records, the water, when you're spinning it, the water doesn't really get on the label. So you have to really, I haven't really, none of my labels really got wet. I had no, I, you know, nothing got, nothing spilled into that, into the label to get that wet. So definitely a great little product. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. So very glad that I got it and I would recommend it. As you can see here, I'll show you one of the 45 that it cleans the 45s as well. So like I said, it goes in the inner little notches there. And one thing I noticed after a while, spending like 40, 50 records, I would recommend cleaning, making sure the little rubber and those rollers are clean because you get all that gunk on it after a while. And those, those rollers can sometimes pop out as you're spinning the record. It takes a little effort because it's dry, but once they get the solution on the record, on those rollers are fine. I noticed that on the left uh, roller was kind of popping out a little bit. I had to, as I was spinning, I had to kind of make sure it went down. I had to clean the edges but you can see right there uh, after that's probably after 45 to 50 records super dirty um, but overall recommend the product appreciate you guys sticking around this long and until the next one take care